Let's explore Disney's Animal Kingdom. Hey everyone, it's Herb from Walt Walt, and welcome to another live broadcast from the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. It's kind of a drizzly day here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. 75 degrees, gray clouds, a little bit of uh, rain, but still a good day to be at Disney always. Today we're just going to take a stroll, see what's going on. We're going to head up towards the tree life, probably hang a right, go through Dino Land, Asia, Africa, Pandora, see what's going on. Susan, good morning and happy Saturday to you. Good to see you as always. Thank you for being here. Belkis, good morning and happy Saturday. John from Arkansas, nice to see you. And Kate, good morning, happy Saturday. Hi, Heather. I always appreciate folks joining me uh, for a little stroll on Saturday morning to see what's going on here at Disney World. Barbie, good morning to you. Hope you're having a good day. And Helen, hello. Pam from the UK. Thank you for spending a bit of your afternoon with us here. To Vogue. That looks like it did. Okay, took a while. Jackie, good morning. Hello to you. Dawn, good morning. Thanks for being here. And Donna, happy Saturday. Tracy from Minnesota, Robin from snowy Madison, Wisconsin. Got some uh, Wisconsin folks who know how to deal with cold. Jim, happy Saturday. It's a World of Walt live broadcast, so you know Saturday has officially begun. It's fun to hear the music here at Disney's Animal Kingdom and how it changes as you move from land to land. Mike, good morning. All right, Tree of Life, straight ahead. Anita from Lace Bay, Nova Scotia. Sounds like a beautiful place. Yeah, the broadcast did freeze for a bit. I have no idea why. Well, it wasn't in a spot that typically has an internet issue, but you know, the internet's got a mind of its own. So, we go with it. Catherine, good morning to you. Lisa's looking to come back in April. Good time to come. Tree of Life is looking good. All the sculptured animals on the trunk. A waterfall there on the right-hand side. Karen says, loves the music. Me too. Mary says, loves the tree life. Definitely the icon of this park. A good one, too. All right, we're going to hang a right. We're going to head over towards Dinoland USA, see what's going on there. We're going to scoot up towards Asia, Expedition Everest, across Africa, down to Pandora. We're going to take the Grand Circle Tour of Disney's Animal Kingdom today. Melissa's sharing the post. Melissa, thank you so much for doing that. One of the best ways to get the word out and a big encouragement to me, so thank you. Thanks to everyone who comments, who likes, who shares. Uh, it's the best way to um, get the word out, and it's because you do that that sometimes I get the opportunity to attend media events with the nice folks at Disney Media Relations, as I did last week, which was amazing. For the opening of Tron Like Cycle Run at the Magic Kingdom, I had a chance to check out the merchandise, the attraction. Even got uh, some photos of the menu for the new food kiosk there. Oh, Kevin's out. Always fun to stop and see Kevin.
Uh-oh. Kevin's getting rained on. The rest of us, too. I almost didn't do it, but I brought my umbrella. I want to say loves Kevin. Uh, Kevin's like hurrying off stage. Bye, Kevin. Still see Kevin's peak going by. All right, Kevin's disappearing. See you, Kevin. Karen says, anyone got chocolate for him? <laughs> I don't today, but I do understand he likes it. Gary from Cloudy, New Jersey. Hope you're doing well. John says, rains daily in Florida. This is true. Uh, usually more in the afternoon, usually in the summertime. Not so much in the winterish season. But today, we're getting some rain. Fortunately, it's not a downpour as we are often used to. It's more just a sprinkle. Not bad. Jana says, is it raining? It sure is. Jeff says, smart move with the umbrella. Thank you. You know, I almost didn't bring it because when I checked the forecast before I left to come over, no rain in the forecast. But then I checked the forecast as I parked, and uh, yeah, it said could rain. So, okay. Rather be safe than sorry. Keith, good morning to you. Wet Maryland. Hello to you from wet Florida. I think it was Kate who says I got a favorite uh, color umbrella. I'll put it down in the, the view here. Blue. Kind of a blue color. I like this one because it's compact. Debbie says it's not rainy season yet. Yeah, this is true. Typically we have rains daily in the summertime. Usually two, three o'clock, the sky will open up, it will pour, and then it'll stop. Just so we can crank up the humidity a little bit. Mitchell says be prepared, a good, good uh, idea. Eric, good morning, and Kevin, hello to you. Ah, got a Kevin pin last time, that is awesome. A member of the Pin of the Month Club, today you and the award my appreciation for maybe not even wanting to, but actually doing anyway, prompting a shameless plug. I'd like to get a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every single month. Check out pinofthemonthclub.com. Mary from St. Louis, hello to you, nice to see you. <laughs> Donna said a shameless plug for the rain. I don't have a shameless plug for the rain. It just is here. Hey, Brian, good morning to you. Nice to see you. Lynn's got 36 feeling temperature. Peggy says, loves the Peter Gunn music. I didn't realize that that, that was, actually. That's cool. Karen says, loves the Pin of the Month Club this month. Thank you so much. Appreciate your being a member. Well, it looks like Donald and Daisy are out <laughs> meeting people, signing autographs. Donald's having a good time. It says raining in New Jersey as well. All right, we have now what we call a sun shower. The sun is out and the drizzle continues. Rosie, hello to you. Sue, good morning, nice to see you. Tanya is saying hello to Donald and Daisy. Janice says Donald is favorite. So former home of Primeval World, which was demolished some time ago. The land was flattened. No news yet on what's going to become of Dino Land USA. Disney did float some blue sky early concept ideas. Things like uh, Zootopia, Moana. We'll see. Maybe we'll get some announcements in the next year or so. Someone 
think of me was Kathleen asked, do I ever do a nighttime school? Uh, it has happened. So typically I try to keep the same schedule and do a live broadcast Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. from the parks typically, sometimes for another location. But there are occasions where I will sometimes do uh, something a bit different. So a couple weeks ago I had my annual passholder preview of Tron Light Cycle Run of the Magic Kingdom and did a broadcast of the entrance and the queue there. So it does happen. But usually, yeah, usually we're uh, Saturday mornings. Gwen, good morning to you in Ohio. Hope you're doing well. Someone, and I'm sorry the name got cut off, said, uh, asked, do I think Disney's ever going to bring back a dining plan? That's a very popular question. Of course, don't have an official answer. Uh, I do know that at one point Disney said it would come back. They just didn't say when or in what format. And since that time, which seems like a long time ago, they haven't really done anything. So, I don't know. I think the dining plan is something that Disney would use to um, basically put the park visit on sale um, to entice people to come in. And at this point, it seems like Disney's kind of got all the business they can, they can digest right now, uh, especially still working out kinks and supply chains and staffing. So will the dining plan ever come back? I think it's possible. Is it going to come back? In the near term? I don't think so, because I just don't think they need to. Carla said she misses the dining plan. Yeah, I know a lot of people really love it. It is a very convenient way to prepay for your food. You just don't have to think about it. So tell me, are you, are you a, plan, a fan of the dining plan? Do you hope it's going to come back? Do you think it's going to come back? Megan, good morning to you. Looks like the rain is letting up. It's still sprinkling a tiny bit. Shane, hello to you from Bermuda. I don't know that I've ever heard anyone on the broadcast from Bermuda before. Thank you for being here. So, Theater in the Wild here, home to Finding Nemo, The Big Blue and Beyond. Fun music here. Barbie says loves the dining plan. Jody says loves the dining plan and miss it. Deborah from Chattanooga, hello to you. Debbie, also a dining plan fan. Kathy misses it too. Mary says loved it. Carolyn says never done the dining plan. Janet has snow in Illinois. Yikes. All right, let's continue on. Russ, also a dining plan fan. John says, loves the Nemo show. It's a good one. Kind of touches my heart as a dad with the message that it sends about letting go. What a great show, good music. Performers put a lot of energy into the presentation. When uh, Disney reopened the show after the pandemic, um, they really kind of upped it with the video wall in the back. Uh, still the ba same basic premise, but now just a little bit brighter. A little bit more up to date. Very cool. Tina says, hopes they're going to bring the dining plan back. Someone, sorry the name went by too quickly, says uh, dining plan is better, to, better to, to have a budget than a dining plan. And, you know, I, I think if you run the numbers, you might be able to get a little bit of a deal on food with a dining plan. If you are sure to use all your credits and you use them on the most expensive things. Um, but I think maybe even beyond that, the dining plan is just a convenient way to prepay so you don't have to worry about it. One last thing to say, what, what surprise bill am I going to have when I come home? To me, that's the magic of the dining plan. Okay, let's check out what's going on here with Expedition Everest. Actually, uh, we got some people. I was thinking maybe they would have stopped Everest because of the rain, but apparently not. Mountain's looking good. Mary says, love the dining plan. Well, we got it for free. Vicky says, love the bridge you cross over in the color. That's a good one. We'll 
hang out here for a moment, see if we can catch another car coming down the mountain. Lois is an Everest fan as well. It's a great coaster. As far as theming goes, one of the best queues, I believe. Marissa, a Disney cruise in 26 days. That is awesome. I hope you have a great time. Jeff's an Everest fan. I am also a Disney Cruise Line fan. Before I went, I thought, eh, cruise, I don't know. Seems expensive. Not sure if I'm really into it. And then I had a chance to go, and I am hooked. Don't have a cruise plan, but one of these days I hope to get on the Wish, on the three or four days out of Port Canaveral, just to experience the new sort of design aesthetic. Um, whereas past ships in the Disney fleet have been more taking a nautical theme or some sort of a, I don't know, point in time, adding a little bit of Disney to it. The Disney wish, though, is it's uh, all Disney all up front. Shane says, thanks for the stroll. Shane, you're welcome. I appreciate your being here. So Everest has got a 35-minute wait time, which is not bad at all. A little bit hard to see from here, but 35 minutes, yeah. Not bad. All right, we continue our stroll through Disney's Animal Kingdom. The music of Asia. So we make our way towards Africa. Bill said he was here yesterday and it was packed. It is spring break season, so it makes sense. Debbie's never been on a cruise. Uh, Debbie, hope you get a chance to do it sometime. It's uh, an expensive experience for sure, but a premium experience and an amazing one. Tammy says that's a great wait time. It is. For Everest, 35 minutes, that's really good. Hey, Larry, nice to see you. Happy Saturday. Peggy says I make for Saturdays. Thank you, Peggy. I appreciate your being here. It's really kind. Thanks to you for commenting and everyone else. Those likes, especially the shares, great way to get the word out. And again, my appreciation to everyone who does that, who tunes in. Uh, it's because you do that, sometimes I get the opportunity to get an invitation from the nice folks at Disney Media Relations to a media event like I did this past weekend, this past week, excuse me, for the opening of Tron Light Cycle Run. Very exciting. I loved having an opportunity to see the attraction and bring it to you. Checking out the merchandise, uh, the food over at Rodeo Roundup Barbecue. Lots of fun stuff happening. Mary's going to be back in December and can't wait. George loves the walks through the parks. People in matching shirts, always fun. Me too. All right, I think the rain has stopped. I appear to be the only one still carrying an umbrella. Let's take care of that. Kathy, first cruise in 2024, good for you. I think you're gonna have an amazing time. Roxanne, hello from Wisconsin. Susan is an Animal Kingdom fan, animal specifically. Jeff says, always brighten his day. Jeff, thank you, it's always good to hear from you. Judy went in 1990 and loved it. So I don't see any of the apes out. I know it's apes because it's in the sign right in front of me. I always get the apes and chimpanzees mixed up. Someone has helped me understand that before. Liz says, looks crystal clear. You know, the sky's really just cleared up in a moment. Adam, good morning to you. Nice to see you. Melissa said, how about a plug for the shirts? Sure, Melissa. You can always head over to worldofwaltstore.com to get a link over to the t-shirt shop. Hosted by the nice folks at Tee Public, have a new design that came out last week for uh, Disney Monorail with a safety spiel. Jennifer, good morning. Nice to see you. John, thanks for putting the link over to worldwealthstore.com. 
in addition to linking to the uh, t-shirt shop, it also links to the Pin of the Month Club. You may have never heard about it before because I never talk about it. Well, except like a dozen times on every broadcast. But if you would like a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every single month, check out pinofthemonthclub.com. Kathy says, loves her many World of Walt shirts. Thank you for that. Appreciate those purchases. It's a great way to support the site. John putting the link for the Pin of the Month Club, which just happens to be pinofthemonthclub.com. Mary says, excited to be here in November. I'll be here before you know it. Melissa, three days to Magic Kingdom. Good for you. Jeff says, when is Mr. Iger leaving? <laughs> he just got here. I think he's got a two-year contract, if I remember right. One of his primary jobs is supposed to be finding out who's going to replace him. We will see. He's had that job in the past. And actually not an easy job. The Disney company is a big conglomerate, very complicated. Running it requires a lot of different skills. Susan asked if there are any baby animals. I haven't seen any announcements recently, so sometimes if there's a baby zebra or giraffe or elephant or something that is born here at Disney's Animal Kingdom, the uh, company will put out a release about it, sharing some pictures and a name. I haven't seen that recently. It does happen, for sure. Just haven't noticed any recently. Cheryl, good morning to you. From Mississippi, I believe. Jody says she hears some monkeys. I think those were actually the parrots. Now, you couldn't see them here on the broadcast, but I could see them above my head. So there's a, a moment where the parrots fly over towards the Tree of Life, and they, they come up on their perches as they fly over the crowd, uh, and then they head back. Lori, hello to you in North Dakota. I love hearing where people are from and what the weather's like there. Okay, so we've made our way out of Africa, or excuse me, out of Asia and into Africa. Peggy says, in her humble opinion, Mr. Iger has been a great CEO. Uh, you know, I think so as well. I think he definitely will have a legacy with the company of having done a good job building on the foundation of Mr. Eisner. And... Uh, was one who definitely expanded the company with acquisitions like Marvel and Star Wars and Pixar. Uh, someone who was known as a, a reconciler, whereas Mr. Eisner was perhaps, in retrospect, more of a divider. Gwen says the parrot flyover is really exciting. Mary says loves to see that parrot presentation. Paul from Norfolk, Virginia, hello. Kathy says, beautiful. Yeah, you know, 15 minutes ago it was very gray and raining, and now the sun is out and the skies are blue, and it looks nice, it really looks nice. James has got snow in Chicago. Amy Beth says, let's look for Kevin. We actually found him. We saw Kevin on the broadcast earlier today. Uh, then it started to rain and Kevin had to go back to his nest. Her nest, excuse me, Kevin to her. Yeah, but it was fun to see Kevin. Kevin's a good squawker. Tanya says, the scenery is beautiful. This is true. You know, each Disney park has its own beauty, its own design aesthetic. Uh, Animal Kingdom is unique in uh, Disney's parks worldwide. And it's focused on animals, it's design around areas like Asia and Africa and Pandora. Mike's voting for breakfast at Dawa. That actually sounds pretty good. Gerald, a perfect Nebraska morning. Glad you're having a good one. <laughs> HR said, bring some chocolate to lure Kevin out. That is a good idea. I always try to have some chocolate on hand. 
Terry says, loves the African drums. Kathy's a fan of Tusker House, great place. Someone, I'm sorry, I missed the name from Aberdeen, Scotland. Thank you for being here. Steve, hello to you in St. Louis, partly cloudy. We have fully sunny right now, although we had rainy just 15 minutes ago. John says, loves the Lion King show, me as well. There was a point where the Disney tram drivers would explain how the Festival of the Lion King was the top rated live theatrical presentation here at Walt Disney World property. Uh, it may still well be the case. Uh, great acts, things like the Fire Dancer, the, uh, the Tumble Monkeys, great music. Yeah, it's really, it's really a fun show. Even though it's been kind of the same thing for a long time, it's still great and fun to see. Very colorful. Eric, good morning to you. Mary says, loves the Festival of the Lion King. Peggy says, beautiful, clear skies. Yeah, for sure. See a few clouds out there in the background, but what a change from just 20 minutes or so. 20 minutes ago. Oh, hey. We got Russell and Doug. Here come two faithful adventurers on a search for their better friend, Kevin. From Disney Pixar's Up, Suck, it's Kevin. Russell and Doug. Let's welcome them with the Wilderness Explorer call. The wilderness must be explored. Oh, roar! <laughs> Kevin's do a roar. Fun. Peggy says she has an up cookie jar. That's cool. Up is a favorite thing. Cookies are a favorite thing. You put those two together. It's a good combination. <laughs> Kelly says time to start planning our next trip. It's never too soon. It's like Chicago is getting some snow. Susan says fun, fun to see. Doug and Kev, uh, Doug and Russell, excuse me. Beryl says, surprised by the light crowds. So Beryl, um, maybe the, the rain has sort of driven people inside. And when we were first coming in towards the Tree of Life, a little more crowded. Now that we're back here in this less traveled path between Africa and Pandora, seems a little more spread out. Um, but, you know, a 35-minute wait time for Expedition Everest is pretty low, really. Barrel, 21 days to your next trip. Barrel, that is awesome. I think it's great that you get to visit as, as you do. And thank you for all that you do to support worldofwalt.com. Truly appreciate it. Robert says, loves the walk around. So this little pathway that connects Africa and Pandora, uh, new from back when Pandora opened, a nice little quiet walk and a great shortcut. Actually supports the circle design of Animal Kingdom. You can do a complete loop around just like what we're doing today. We're gonna go check out what's happening in Pandora. We're gonna see what the wait times look like for both Flight of Passage and Navi River Journey. When I came in earlier today, both of those were upwards of an hour plus, I think 70, 85 minutes, which, you know, is not so bad for those attractions. Francesca says, how warm is it? Looks beautiful. Uh, right now, 70, whoops, yikes. I think maybe my battery on my gimbal has decided to give up the ghost. So we will go manual. 77 degrees right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No, no, no. Kristen coming her 50th. Awesome. Congratulations on that milestone. Let's see if the battery will survive at all. Okay. 
Not sure if that's going to last too much longer, but we'll keep on going. Tracy's going to be here in November. Hope you have a good trip. Michelle, I think it was, the name went by quickly, too quickly, sorry, said she did this walk uh, because she had seen it on a live broadcast. That's awesome. Glad you had a chance to do it. It's peaceful. Um, and it's also a good way to save a lot of footsteps if you're maybe on Kilimanjaro Safari and ready to head over to Pandora. Great flight. That's happy. Oops, that's sorry. Tanya says, loves the Saturday strolls. Thank you so much. Susan, you can definitely hear the animal sounds as we transition into Pandora. Hello, friend from Kissimmee. Not so far away. Although Kissimmee is actually a pretty wide city, so it could be a little bit far. Virginia's asking about the weather. Uh, today, this morning, we had a low of 66. It's 77 right now. On the way up to 92, so it's going to be a bit of a warm day, but a nice one. Joanna says, loves Pandora, especially at night. Um, I agree. This is definitely an area that has a, a kind of a different look and feel day versus night. Both beautiful in their own way, but if I only had time to experience one or the other, I would come at night. We're seeing everything iridescent, glowing in the dark is amazing. Mary says Pandora is pretty at night. I definitely agree with you on that. Sandy says loves the walk. Sandy, thank you for being here. Thanks to you and everyone else for your comments, for your likes, especially your shares. Great way to get the word out. And again, it's because you do that that sometimes I have the opportunity to attend a media event with the nice folks at Disney Media Relations like I did last week for the opening of Tron Light Cycle Run, which is a thrill for me to do and to share with you. All right, some Thule Canteen. Looks like it's serving up some good stuff right now. It's been a while since I've eaten here. Kathy says, how was Tron? Kathy, thanks for asking. Uh, I enjoyed it very much. So Tron Light Cycle Run, the latest poster opening at the Magic Kingdom. Um, great design, really, really nails that Tron aesthetic of that glowing look. Um, a fun coaster ride, uh, it's a quick launch, uh, nice design elements on the interior like you are racing your light cycle. Um, some interesting innovations like the, the double sided locker where you put your possessions in the locker going in and then when you walk out you retrieve them from the opposite side of the locker. Very cool. So actually I, I really enjoyed Tron a lot. Uh, my only comment is that it is a really t relatively short ride. maybe. A minute approximately so it goes by fast but it's good all right by the passage looks like the wait time has bumped up since I started the broadcast now up to two hours almost two hours 110 minutes Jeff says when was my first Saturday walk oh goodness uh, it's been years. I don't really know. I can't recall when it started, but it was way back when Facebook first introduced the Facebook Live broadcast that I decided to make the jump. Before the Facebook Live Saturday morning scrolls, I actually had a podcast. Came out every week, did that for a couple of years. Loved it. Had a chance to meet a lot of those nice folks. Got a lot of good feedback. But decided to switch things up and move over to video with Facebook Live and uh, have really enjoyed doing it. I love the interactive nature of the Facebook Live broadcast platform where we can actually talk back and forth. I love hearing from you, where you're from, what your questions, things that we can talk about. So uh, one of my favorite things. Cynthia says, looks like fun. Okay. Navi River Journey, 65 minutes. Not so bad. Helen says, remember the podcast. Helen, thank you for that. It was fun. I really enjoyed it. I especially enjoyed having an opportunity to, to um, 
to make some friends in the process, like Phil over here to their travel, Johnny's short sleeve, Aaron. So it was fun to be able to, to share some Disney with, uh, with those folks and with you. Ted says, thank you. Ted, you are welcome. Thank you for being here. All right, let's continue our stroll. So we started out at the front of Animal Kingdom, walked up to the Tree of Life, did a right towards Dino Land, up towards Africa, across Asia, and now through Pandora. Jeff says, what's Johnny up to these days? Uh, Johnny is actually a Disney cast member, and he's doing well. Wife and three children that keep him quite busy. He's a terrific guy. Carol says, loves the Navi River journey so pretty. Me too. Uh, I think it's a great addition to this, this park. So it's something that the whole family can enjoy together. It's visually beautiful. My only complaint, which I'm sure was not very high on Disney's list of things to deal with, is that the internet does not hold up very well inside that attraction. So when I try to do a broadcast, it typically conks out at some point. That's okay. Susan's voting for the Skyride. One of these times, I'm just going to have to go on a Skyliner tour. Mike says, favorite restaurant in Animal Kingdom. That is a tough one. Uh, I do like the um, Tatuli Canteen in Pandora. If I had to pick one, that's probably my favorite. Uh, but I also enjoy the barbecue restaurant as well. Uh, both very good. Someone, I'm sorry I missed the name, asked if I have tried Woody's Roundup Barbecue. Well, Roundup, Rodeo Roundup Barbecue, I think is the proper name. There was a time when Woody's was in there somewhere, but it's Rodeo Roundup Barbecue. Um, I did have a chance to tour the interior of that new restaurant uh, as part of the media event last week, uh, but did not get an opportunity to taste the food. I got to see it, I got to smell it, didn't get to taste it. Uh, I do want to do that though, because if it tastes as good as it smells and looks, uh, it's going to be a winner. Um, meals are served family style, uh, and, and the design aesthetic of Rodeo Roundup Barbecue really fits in Toy Story Land, the idea that um, that Andy built that restaurant out of the tops of games and things he created with crayon. Sandy's a fan of Flame Tree Barbecue. Mary as well. It's a great choice. I couldn't think of Flame Tree. Thank you, everyone. Someone said wrong that you could see it but not taste it. I know. I was really hoping I'd get to taste it, but I, I do try to appreciate everything that the nice folks at Disney do. Uh, and even though I really, really, really wanted to taste the food, uh, I get it. There's a lot going on. Someone said the Animal Kingdom shops are some of the best on property. They certainly have a great variety of uh, things to buy here, that's for sure. Peggy says, how about a Grand Floridian Easter tour? You know, that's a really good idea. Maybe that Saturday before Easter, I should plan just to hang out at the Grand Floridian and check out all the chocolate displays. Could even take the little walk over to the Magic Kingdom and maybe pop into Main Street, USA. Adam says, pin plug. Adam, thank you. I appreciate that. Today, you win the award. My appreciation for prompting pretty much a never-ending stream of shameless plugs for the Pin of the Month Club. If you would like to get a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every single month, check out pinofthemonthclub.com. Like always, Michael said, thanks for doing the live broadcast each week. It's my pleasure. I love sharing them with you. And thank you for being here. Thank you for your comments, for your likes, especially the shares. Such a good way to get the word out. All right, I think we're going to wrap it up pretty soon here. A lot of people streaming in to Disney's Animal Kingdom today. Maybe they paused while the rain was coming down. Gina says, loves the pins. Gina, thank you so much for being a member of the Pin of the Month Club. Truly appreciate it.
Jeff says, sounds like a great Easter Saturday. Yeah, maybe that'll be the plan. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me from this live broadcast at Disney's Animal Kingdom at the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. It was fun to take a little stroll around the Grand Circle Tour of this park and just check out what's going on, see the sights, see the crowd levels, see the wait times. A lot of fun. Um, thank you, as always, for being here. Thank you for your comments, for your, your hearts, your likes, especially the shares. Truly appreciate those things. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday, and until next time, God bless.